Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at hygienics, and we are asking the question, should you be worried about too much iron in water? Now, we know iron is a heavy metal, but some iron, and likewise some copper, can sometimes be beneficial to human health. And particularly, we can get these from foods or from drinking water. But, what happens when there's too much iron in water? Can it cause issues? And what issues could it cause? So your body needs iron to stay healthy. Without enough of it, you're likely to develop conditions such as anemia. Yet too much iron may not be good for you, particularly if your drinking water is high in iron content. So if your drinking water has a lot of iron and you're getting iron from your diet, you could potentially have way too much iron and develop different issues. So if you're from an area where the soul and the underground rocks contain a lot of iron, your well water may not be safe enough to drink or use. Besides corroding your pipe, too much iron can also significantly cause discomfort in your body, and you might want to consider testing your drinking water and know how much iron you could have exposure to. Now, if you have too much exposure, what happens? One thing is skin problems. The high mineral content in the water may ruin healthy skin cells and increase the risk of acne and breakouts. Excess iron deposits may block the skin pores and result in multiple bumps on your skin. In addition to skin cell damage, excess iron can also trigger premature skin wrinkles. And you're also likely to notice soap residue on your skin after you bathe. Eventually, your skin goes drier and you may feel itchy. There's a deep metallic water taste. Concentrated iron may give water a bitter metallic taste, and not to mention an unmistakably sharp and unpleasant smell. You may have seen water that's brown or smells funny. This is something you actually can see. While some heavy metals are dangerous like lead or arsenic, and you don't really see a change in the water coloration or taste, this can have an effect. Iron can. Additionally, water from your faucet may show signs of discoloration, orange, yellow, or dark brown color, depending on the iron concentration. Moreover, the tea or coffee you make with iron-rich water could still have that unpleasant metallic taste. Even the food you prepare, such as vegetables and pasta, will bear an unsavory aftertaste. There's the unpleasant staining. Unfortunately, iron may stain every surface it comes into contact with. Fixtures that draw water from a contaminated well may show light to heavy discoloration if water flowing out contains large amounts of iron. And for instance, you may notice your toilet has multiple orange streaks that just don't seem to go away. And that can also happen with your tub can also show signs of discoloration, especially near a faucet. Similarly, your drains and sinks might even develop bright yellow stains in different places. And last but not least, there is multiple pipe clogs. Excessive iron can cause severe clogging in your plumbing system due to residue buildup, and when the water flows through your pipes, bacterial iron forms a thick slime that settles inside your pipes, and over time, the slime grows tougher and restricts proper water flow through your plumbing system. The resulting clogs create lower water pressure in your home, shower heads, and faucets, and the sinks and toilets may also clog due to poor drainage. Often, the blockages may cause plumbing leaks that could cost a lot in repairs. So in the interest of your home, in your interest of your health, in the interest of your family's health, it's always a good idea to test your water to see how much iron is in it.